beekeepers lose their hives at an annual rate of about 40% now. And that is a $2 billion loss in revenue. Parasites, industrial agriculture, and climate change have caused drastic declines in the bee population, but there's a new trend growing that could help keep the bees buzzing. The bee population across the U.S. has suffered drastically the past few decades, especially in Florida. But the trend of backyard beekeeping, raising bees at your own home, is on the rise. You got it? Yeah. Devin and Drew Boyd live in Gainesville and started up the hobby last year. Financially for us, we said we could pay, you know, however much it costs to start up one hive and make that back and not spend money on someone else's honey. We could get it from our own yard. The couple now has three beehives right in their yard by the driveway, but their first hive turned out to be a little more difficult than they thought after they took some less than helpful advice. Looking up things on one, online is one of the biggest mistakes you'll ever make as a beekeeper. There's a lot of information out there that's not good. But that's where Mario good. Jacob comes in. He owns an apiary in Umatilla so and teaches introductory normal. courses to people like Devin and Drew who want to start up their own hives. I've had people now that started with me four years ago and they come back and you know in the store and buy supplies and we talk and they're just so happy their bees are, are thriving and doing well and it makes me happy to see them um, succeed. But in the state of Florida, not all bees are thriving. About five years ago, we lost half our operation, about put us out of business. And um, we had to bounce back from that. Department of Agriculture says that as of the start of this year, the population of honeybees in any medium to large operation are down by 8%. Mario's operation has upwards of 3,000 hives, but five is fairly typical for a backyard beekeeper. That's what makes Mario's classes on handling and keeping up with your hives so important. And this is one of the hardest parts of beekeeping. What I'm doing is trying to extract an egg from this tray. Here's one here. And then I'm going to put it into this royal jelly that'll keep it fed. And then this is going to go into a new hive to hopefully produce a queen. Mario says the backyard beekeeping trend is growing for several reasons. Some people want to pollinate their gardens and farms. Some people want to help the environment while taking on a new pastime. And some people are just in it for the honey. You take a good thinly sliced piece of really sharp cheddar cheese yes. and you put some honey on it. And it is it's delicious. delicious. It sounds disgusting, but it is really, really good. So that's a nice treat. Yeah. They say everyone needs a hobby. DNJ Apiary teaches beekeeping classes every couple of weeks. They have that info on their website. And if you're still a little skeptical of this whole thing, Devin and Drew have six kids and say not one of them has been stung yet.